As you prepare images for delivery to different social media platforms, you may want to be very specific. Many of the platforms use different sizes depending upon how you're putting the picture out there, and you may want more control over how it's cropped than letting their system do it automatically. A quick web search for social media photo sizes will take you to a variety of articles that'll help you find the most current sizes. For example, when sending out to Instagram, they may use a lot of different sizes here. Most of the time, it's 1080 for the width, but the height can vary. 566 for landscape, 1350 for portrait, or 1080 by 1080 for square. As you see here, they use different aspect ratios, 1.9 to 1 and 4 to 5. Well, you can use these inside of Lightroom. If you choose your crop tool, you could type in a new aspect ratio. For example, 1.9 to 1. And now I'm cropping at the correct aspect ratio for a landscape image on Instagram. Then when I go to export, what I could do is set the target size here, setting the long edge to those 1080 pixels. When I click export, that's gonna be optimized for Instagram. When I post that photo, Instagram won't resize it, nor will they recrop it and I've taken control over what part of the photo is shown. Now the key here is that different platforms use different sizes. For example, Facebook. If you are cropping for use in Facebook, you'll find a wide range of sizes used. For example, if you're putting it into a post, they recommend 1200 by 630. This is gonna be the image that's gonna be shown at the top of a post. So if I wanted to take control of this and crop it, I could assign that. Let's go to custom ratio here and type in 1200 by 630. There's my new crop. And this is the crop that would show perfectly in a Facebook story. This way, if I wanted it to be cropped the way that I specified for the top of the featured image, this would allow me to put that into the post. Now this crop is what would be used on a Facebook post. And I wouldn't have to worry about Facebook recropping the image on their own. Other times, if you are cropping this for something like a social media profile or other platforms, you might go with the typical one-to-one -one square. And now you see the new size. The key here is to get familiar with the different sizes, but know that they constantly change. We shared with you some of those common sizes in this movie, but I always recommend doing a web search because every year, and sometimes multiple times a year, things will change. As different social media platforms redesign, change their requirements, tweak their layouts, different size shapes become supported and others are tweaked. But by taking the time to keep a cheat sheet bookmarked and crop the images to the right aspect ratio, you're gonna get the results you want on social media as opposed to an awkward crop or losing details that you thought were going to be shown.